Hello, in this video I'm going to give you some shortcuts and helpful tips to complete your French higher directed writing. Tip number one, the structure. You have six bullet points in your directed writing and you'll have noticed that there's always like a two parts in the first one. Ideally, you would group the bullet points to make a short essay. I tell my classes to group bullet points one and two as an intro, three and four as a main body and five and six as a conclusion and get them to use the following phrases for each paragraph. So paragraph one, so that would be your bullet point one and two. I would say pour commencer, tout d'abord, premièrement, so to get started, first of all, or firstly. Paragraph two, I would just say something very easy, so bullet point three and four, de plus. For paragraph A3, I would say a bullet point five and six, something like pour conclure, pour finir, en guise de conclusion. So to conclude, to finish as a conclusion. Number two, remember this essay is talking about an event that happened in the past. So you need to learn some key starter phrases such as l'année dernière, so last year, pendant les vacances d'été, pendant les vacances de Pâques, pendant les vacances de Noël. So just make sure you know that structure and you can change depending on the season. Tip number three, learn how to say, I went to, we went to. So it's always about going abroad in France, Canada, Switzerland, and say what you've done. So je suis allé, mind the extra E if you refer to yourself as female, et nous sommes allés, uh, with ES at the end for a group of females uh, and then you could say A before any town so nous sommes allés à Paris nous sommes allés à Nice et nous sommes allés en before a country that's feminine so nous sommes allés en Suisse en France O A E U et before a country that's a masculine so Canada nous sommes allés au Canada just have a sentence ready about how you travel there, like j'ai pris l'avion de Glasgow à to whatever town you want to say. So uh, j'ai pris l'avion de Glasgow à Nice, and that's fine. And you can always use this even if it's not mentioned uh, in the bullet point. Tip number four. Know a few places in France. You might have to decide where you went. So remember at least two or three names. Like so, for the beach, I would recommend Nice. So that's an easy one to spell, Nice. And you can add dans le sud de la France. For a Christmas market, preferably you would choose Strasbourg, and you would add dans l'est de la France. For any skiing trips, just go dans les Alpes. That's very simple. And uh, for anything else, like a school exchange or not, just Paris is always the easy one to remember and spell. Tip number five, get your verbs right. You have a dictionary, so double check that you have the correct auxiliary and past participle. I have made a video on that, so scan this QR code if you want to see it. Tip number six, to me, that's the most important one in that video. Learn a few key words and that's your basic shortcuts here. So like, je suis parti et seul or seul, I went on my own, or je suis parti avec, you know, and then you could say mon école, mon collège, mon lycée. Uh, it's up to you here. Here are magic words. So you've got été, was. So you could use that for anything. So like uh, the family that was hosting uh, was nice. So it is gentil, it is agréable, it is fantastic. You could use that for the weather. Le, le temps était magnifique, fantastic. You could use that for the hotel accommodation. So it was and the plural version it. So if you're talking about a group of people, they were it. So that's a good one to know. A very useful uh, thing to know as well is using it. It was and you can use that for any uh, describing word after that so c'était fantastic c'était ideal c'était superbe just you know keep using this this is a very simple one to remember another good structure to know is il y avait there was so for any types of scenario there was something so there was a market there was a, a good atmosphere there was um, just whatever you want to say so il y avait and je me suis bien entendu avec so relationship Je me suis bien entendu avec, I got on well. If you want to say we got on well, nous nous sommes bien entendus. Uh, if you want to say I have a, or had fun, et je me suis bien amusé. And you need to know the negative version of that, like je ne me suis pas bien entendu avec, nous ne nous sommes pas bien entendus, or et je ne me suis pas et bien amusé. And that's fine. Tip number seven, easy conditional tense. Usually the last two bullet points or last bullet point, they ask you to recommend the experience. Would you recommend? So that's that tense here in English. I would recommend this. I would stay in touch with somebody. Uh, so that's the kind of thing here we're going to look at. Je recommanderais de plus et any a verb of the apostrophe if the verb starts with a vowel. Uh, example, je recommanderais de 
faire un échange scolaire et à mes amis en Écosse. Je recommanderais d'aller visiter Anytown. So, je recommanderais d'aller visiter Paris. Je recommanderais d'aller visiter Nice. Euh, je recommanderais de rester. I would recommend to stay uh, you know, in an hotel, dans un hôtel. Je recommanderais de rester chez une famille d'accueil. With a, a horse family. And a really magical word here or combination is j'aimerais. I would like or je voudrais if you can use both so that if you want to say I would like to I would like to je voudrais I would want to so it's kind of the same really we use it either or so j'aimerais plus any verb that you find in a dictionary without having to change the endings it's a really simple structure j'aimerais aller I would like to go j'aimerais retourner à, à Nice I would like to go back to Nice j'aimerais retourner en France I would like to go back to France uh, je voudrais Rester en contact avec, you know, I would like to stay in touch with whoever you want. Okay, so that's really useful a structure here. Tip number eight, learn three or four weather sentences. So you can always talk about the weather. Just add, il neigeait, il pleuvait, il faisait froid, il faisait chaud, and that's you. Okay, so you need to know three or four by heart. You cannot escape. Tip number nine, word count too short, not a problem. Always learn something to say about your journey, for instance. You can add, you know, dans l'avion, dans le train, et j'ai lu un livre, un magazine, j'ai parlé avec, you know, mon ami, and you can say a name or whatever, et j'ai regardé un film, you can talk about the film, c'était super, c'était long, c'était ennuyeux. Describe that, just keep it easy, you know those words, so this is very simple for you to add some A to your word count. And number 10, my final tip activities that you did so a lot of people are getting confused because you get the english at the weekend uh, in the evening in french is that is it's just le le so le weekend le matin l'après-midi le soir you could also use pendant mon temps libre during my free time or pendant la semaine during the week uh, and then you have a few sentences here you can learn by heart so you could say j'allais uh, i went et, and then you got a few things so, au restaurant j'allais au restaurant j'allais au cinéma j'allais au musée j'allais au marché uh, you could add j'allais and any verb after that so uh, j'allais visiter des monuments historiques j'allais manger et, so any infinitive and that's an easy uh, structure to learn so j'allais visiter des monuments historiques and you can also prepare your employability sentence like work experience that you've had abroad that, that comes up from time to time so you could say j'ai travaillé avec you need to know that by heart I worked with j'ai parlé avec so you can add you know anything like customers et j'ai parlé avec les clients avec les enfants j'ai aidé I helped and then you try to add anything that you've done j'ai organisé you've organized anything that you could say keep it simple j'ai organisé un match de foot use your cognates here that you know work uh, your teacher will have taught you that during the year And finally, j'ai fait, I did, or you could use that for cooking as well, j'ai fait un gâteau. Et so, lots of things you could use here, a very useful tip for uh, making sure that you're covering any kind of activities, and usually that comes up in the main body of your directed writing. That's us, folks, that's all the 10 tips I've got for you today. I hope it goes over everything that you need for this. Uh, those are shortcuts, obviously. Preparation and vocabulary building is what you need to do during the year. Look at examples that are fully written. I'm sure teachers can provide you that. And just keep doing a directed writing a week until your final exam from now on. Good luck.